I'm Jessica. Hi, I'm Matt. And today we're going to show you how to assemble your very own Eddie robot. So let's get started. First step, we're going to show you how to assemble your ping and IR stands. So we'll start with the ping. Take your screws and put the nylon washers through. Stick them through the mounting holes on the ping. Then take your nylon spacers, stick them on the other side. Line your ping up in the stand and screw them in. Connect the cable. So looking at it from the back, make sure that ground is on the right hand side, which is the black wire. And voila, you have your ping stand. All right, so now we'll move on to the IR stand. Let's go ahead and stick both of your screws through the back side. And then place one of the small spacers on each of the screws, and then one of the large spacers. And then line it up in the stand, and screw them in. and then connect your cable. So now you have your ping and IR stand and you can continue this process for your remaining two IRs and one remaining ping. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put these pre-assembled motor mount wheel uh, assemblies onto the base platform. Now the base platform, you can see there's three holes on this side as well as this side that do not go all the way through. That tells us that that's the bottom of the unit. So what we want to do is flip it over so those three holes are not visible from this side. Then we're going to take some three quarter inch button head screws and we're going to place those through these two holes. Here. You can line them up. And you'll need a uh, 5 30 seconds sized Allen wrench. Just go ahead and snug both of these down. Like that. And we'll do the same to the other side. And snug those down nice and tight. Now we'll flip the whole thing over and we'll get ready for the caster wheel install. We're going to use these uh, 3 8 inch long socket head screws to attach the caster wheel assemblies to the underside of the platform. Snug down all three. Just snug, you don't have to over tighten them. Spin it around. Do the same thing on the other assembly. And that's that. So now we'll take care of mounting the batteries to the battery tray. So this battery tray is made out of quarter inch thick Delrin, so it's virtually indestructible. Uh, we actually did some testing and dropped an Eddie robot from 20 inches off the ground and this baby held up. So first we are going to need to mount some standoffs to the board to hold the batteries. Uh, there's a logo on a parallax logo on one of the sides of the battery tray. Make sure that's facing down. Uh, you'll see a myriad of mounting locations on this board, and that's so you can mount whatever batteries you'd like to on the board. So be sure you're using the holes that will mount the batteries most snugly for your application. Um, in our case, we'll show you which are the best holes to mount for the batteries included with Eddie. So we've got two fixed holes here at the bottom. We'll start with those. So we'll be using a half inch 440 screw and a 5 8 inch standoff. 
and we'll put those through the fixed holes. Then we'll use the innermost hole on the right hand side and the outermost set of holes on the left and the innermost hole on that. And then the second innermost hole, so the second hole in from the right on these sets here. So when you're done, it should look a little something like this. And then we'll go ahead and tighten each of the screws down. So Jessica's already got the battery tray assembled, but before we put that tray together with the cells onto the base of the eddy, what we first have to do is mount some standoffs for the control board. So you see right here in the middle, there's four screws, excuse me, four screw holes. Put these 440 by 5 8 long pan head black screws through those holes. Turn it up on edge. Now we have these 5 8 hex female to female standoffs. And a little Phillips screwdriver to cinch them down nice and snug. And there we go. So now we'll take care of mounting the batteries to Eddy. So first go ahead and take your wire harness and prop the robot up on its side, like so. Take the red and black wires and feed them through the back hole and then pull the other two red and black wires through. Now you can flip it back over. So then we'll connect our wire harness to the batteries, pull the safety tabs off, connect red to red, and black to black. Do the same with the other battery. Then we'll go ahead and move the batteries into position. Make sure the terminals are facing out. And it's easiest to go in like so. And you'll get a nice snug fit then and you can pull the wires down and then use a zip tie to secure them. And now we're ready to mount the tray, which should just fit right over the top. You may need to do some maneuvering to make sure that the holes line up on the holes from the motor mount and wheel kit. And then we'll use a quarter inch button head screw and a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench Okay, it's been kind of fun up till now, but this is where it really starts getting exciting. What we're going to do now is mount the actual switch plate to the top of the 80 base. So I'm going to flip it over like this, take some uh, 5 8 long black pinhead screws, and feed those through the four mounting holes on the back side of the 80 base. And we're going to take these inch and a half hex female to female standoffs. And then a little Phillips screwdriver. Snug them up nice and tight. Then we'll flip Betty over and place the switch plate over here with the uh, wiring harness coming out between those two standoffs in the front there. And again, we'll take some more of these uh, 5 8 long black pan head screws. And 
snug those down. No need to over tighten, just take them down to where they're snug. And we're going to take a zip tie. And we're going to run the zip tie down around this wiring bundle and around that hex standoff. Just kind of snug that right up. Now we're ready to mount the eddy control board. So line it up so it fits on just like that. And we have some quarter inch 440 screws. And tighten everything down. No need to over tighten. And then connect your wire harness into the board like so. And then take your zip tie anchor, remove the adhesive backing, and place it so it's about a quarter inch or so off from the board. So now pull the zip tie through the zip tie anchor and tighten it down. So as you tighten it down, make sure that you leave enough slack so you can unplug this if you'd like to. All right, now for some more fun stuff. We're going to uh, mount these ping and infrared modules that we put together earlier. So we're going to take these half inch long by 632 socket head screws. And the easiest way to do this is actually put the screws through the stand first and then kind of get them started with your fingers like this down into those two mounting holes. So the format here is we're going to put an infrared, a ping, an infrared, another ping, and another infrared across the face of your eddy. So once I get those started like this, I'm going to use this ball end wrench. This is included with the kit. It's a little Allen head wrench, but it allows you to actually screw in and cut threads at an angle so as to not put the acrylic under any sort of stress by having to get a screwdriver in there or anything like that. So we'll just tighten that down. Simple as that. Now we're going to do the same thing with the infrared modules. The infrared modules on the outer edges are a little bit different. You've got some options here. There's a series of holes here. You can actually swing an arc and mount it to wherever you want it to be. So if you go to this set of holes, you're looking off the edge just like the radius is all across here. If, however, you use this as a pivot point, at that point, this infrared is looking straight ahead. This is 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40. So for our kits that we assemble, we put them together here at parallax at the 10 degree mark. So again, I'll just finger tighten those or get them started with my fingers and then tweak them down. A little bit on each side, that way we keep some of the, uh, any stresses and things like that off of the acrylic as it's being drawn back down to the base. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mount the rest of these across the face. Okay, now we got all our pings and infrared stands on. So what we're going to do now is put these five inch standoffs on to the base plate. These will end up supporting the top plate and subsequently the connect plate for Eddie. So we'll just use these three quarter inch long button head screws coming up from the bottom and we'll screw these aluminum standoffs. And there you have it. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to install the top deck onto Eddie. So we're going to take these two 12 inch standoffs first and turn it on edge. You notice we have countersunk holes here on the top. That's the top of the uh, top deck. So what we want to do is use these quarter inch button head screws from the bottom up. Yes, that and then using 532 seconds Allen wrench. 
and tighten those up. Now, kind of put the lid on so we're going to get eddy and place this top deck right there. And then we have four flathead quarter 20 screws that we're going to place right through these countersunk holes to those five inch standoffs. Just like that. So now we're going to mount the connect, which you need to supply yourself to the connect mounting plate. Uh, we have these connect cam hooks that we'll put into the holes on the bottom of the connect base. I have the hook side out and push it in on both sides. And have the parallax logo be facing towards the back of the connect and place it on top. And then with a black 440 quarter inch screw and a little Delrin washer, put those through to the underside of the connect cam hook. And just tighten it so it's snug, don't over tighten. And do the same to the other side. All right, and now we just need to mount the connect plate on top of our standoffs which are with our three quarter inch button head screws. And just stick them through the mounting holes and screw them in on top. And tighten, but do not over tighten with our trusty 5 30 seconds uh, Allen wrench. All right, so then we'll make our cables pretty by sticking the connect cable in through this back hole. And then using our cable clips to secure the cable to the standoffs. That's the basic construction of the Eddy robot. Please refer to the included documentation as to the proper pinouts and orientation of the connectors for the sensors, etc. And now all you have to do is add a laptop and you're ready to start innovating and developing on the go. So happy experimenting.